Hello friends, welcome back to my channel and today we are back with another tutorial on Git. So this is a continuation of our Git tutorial for beginners and in this tutorial we'll be talking about the .git folder. So we'll be seeing uh, what is the .git folder all about and why the folder is hidden and what is the structure of that. So the Git tree structure uh, of that folder we'll see. So this is a very important topic for you to understand the .git folder because that's the place where the whole details of your git uh, project will be stored uh, which will be used for a lot of other purposes like uh, in your git structure so you should understand which uh, files is used for what so this will be a very you know uh, good topic but very short one okay so just to uh, give you some details about uh, the git so let's see about uh, to the git folder so this will be a complete guide for you uh, to work on git so what is the dot git folder so to start with uh, you know the dot git folder contains all the information that is necessary for a git project so that's the basic concept you may not see that dot git folder in a normal uh, in you know folder uh, structure you have to unhide it because it's a hidden folder but that folder have all the necessary information about your git project and that information uh, are relating to your commits, remote repository address, the configuration, staging details, the scripts, etc. So there are a lot of details available. We'll see about the folder structure in the upcoming uh, you know, uh, of this video. And it also contains the logs that stores the commit history. So that's the whole details, you know, it's uh, under the .git folder. So you should not delete or uh, make any changes in that unless uh, you, know, you know what you're doing. So uh, just before we start about this folder structure, I also want to let you know like uh, there are different kind of objects in uh, Git. So whenever you make any commit, there are some objects gets created like blob tree uh, commit. So what is blob? Like uh, for example, if you are trying to add some files and you commit those, so uh, whenever you made a commit, these files are encrypted and compressed and stored in, as an object called blob. So this is also stored under this .git folder and uh, there's there this uh, encryption is done like a hash algorithm so uh, there is something called tree uh, we should call it so the hash algorithm is used to generate the unique identifier for each file and that is put into a list called tree so for every commit there will be a only one tree object per commit okay so you know I, i'm not going to in depth on this i just want to uh, give you uh, brief details on like these terminology so and what is a you know uh, commit object so there is also a commit object will be also created so you create the hash of the tree object uh, generated using the hash algorithm so there are different algorithms usually we use SHA 256 I believe uh, you know the algorithm to convert this as a encrypted format so we can talk about this encryption in the upcoming tutorials but I just want to show you uh, you know what are different kind of objects which will be uh, created and now let's explore uh, more about this .git file structure. So to start, you know, if for example, if you are uh, creating a new Git repository, you create a folder and you run like Git in it, so it will convert that into a Git repository, and you will have this .git folder created. Uh, whereas the other ways, like you can clone a Git repository from the existing GitHub or GitLab or some other you know, Git repositories. So you can use git clone and uh, uh, clone it. So that time also you will have a dot git folder getting created. So the dot git file directory structure, uh, you know, this, uh, as I told before, this dot git directory hold the complete details of your local repository. So it contains like uh, subdirectories like objects. So we spoke about some objects uh, in the previous slide and refs, config, index, head, hooks and you know there are more other f folders and files will be also there like descriptions so these are some key objects uh, you know uh, key folders and files which we'll be talking about in this uh, tutorial what these all files are all about when what content is stored so this is like uh, the folders which i showed like uh, this is a uh, hooks info object ref config description head and index you know uh, there are other files and folders also will be created based on that but these are something you know key uh, thing which i'm going to talk about in this video so before i get into the actual process you know i have a request like if you are new to my channel or if you haven't subscribed to my channel click on the subscribe button 
and also click on the like uh, of this video if you like it you share and uh, come and uh, give your feedback on the comment session so which will help me to proceed you know further on what changes you're looking or what content you're looking so let's uh, start with a simple uh, project so as i said like we'll create a new project so i'll create a folder uh, called uh, first project so now this is a just a folder it's not a git folder okay so what i want to make is like i want to convert this as a git folder so uh, i have shown you how to install git uh, in the machine so it will install uh, once you install you'll have a git bash as well so I'm going to use uh, git bash so I'm uh, in this folder now see git git project first project now if I run ls there is nothing now in order to create this folder as a uh, git so let me go inside this folder okay so in order to convert this folder as a git what you need to do is uh, git in it okay so this will convert this folder as a git project now you can see an empty uh, git project is uh, I don't know, git repository is created and you can see there is a dot git folder got created actually this is a hidden folder okay so you can see it's like a you know uh, grayed out or you know it's a uh, transparent kind of thing so it's a hidden folder uh, which i have kept the options to show the hidden folder that's why you're able to see it okay and uh, in a command line you can see you know you can use a ls a a l something in command so you can see the dot git folder will be displayed here now uh, let's open this folder so you can see these are some folders we spoke uh, in the previous slide like hooks objects uh, info object ref uh, config description head and you don't see index here because index are uh, created only when you uh, make any staging or commit so when the files are getting added to the staging area that will be stored in the index which we'll uh, talk about the uh, upcoming slide so let's talk about what each of these folders does okay so let's uh, talk about this each folders in in dot uh, git file directory so the first folder what we are going to uh, talk is objects so and uh, there are other folders like rough right config heads index uh, hooks so let's talk about objects first so the objects uh, represents the uh, object database for git so we talk about different kind of objects in uh, when you make a commit right blob uh, object uh, those kind of things three so this object folder is where these all three object like commit tree and blob will be stored okay so that's the object folder is all about and uh, the ref folder that is the place where you will store all the information about tags branches which you create from a repository so in your github you may create some branches you may create uh, you may attach some tags so all those informations will be stored in the ref okay and this uh, config uh, folder is the place where you'll have all the configuration increase in including like your credential you're going to connect to github or gitlab your email or the name which you usually configure using a global configuration so those kind of details will be saved under config and the head uh, contain the pointer or the reference to the working directory or branch for example if you are uh, cloning a master branch the head will have the uh, current working directory as the master branch but if you are cloning some other feature branch or something that will refer to the uh, current uh, working directory which is the feature branch so the head will have the always pointing to the current uh, working directory and the index as i told I, in the previous uh, some place i told like index file was not there because you know uh, we don't have any files in the staging area so index file is used for you know when you add a file into the commit it will add into the staging of your staging area so that details will be stored in the index so usually if you use git add and the file name or dot so it will add it to the staging area and that will um, you know uh, will be stored in the index file but once you come you uh, know once you commit uh, it once you commit it will go off so it's only for uh, the staging area so after that it will be uh, moved out okay and the hooks uh, contain some scripts so in uh, git uh, you can use some script so there are some default script uh, which will be shown you know when you create but as a default uh, folder itself now let's uh, go to these folders and see what actually you see so object as i said if you see object now you don't see anything over here because it's a blank project and we don't have any files or anything uh, added or committed right uh, so let's do one thing let's uh, clone uh, one project from uh, my gitlab uh, this is from github okay not from gitlab so let me copy this this is uh, one of recent pro uh, uh, 
uh, tutorial I have done on Node.js, MongoDB, and Nginx Docker tutorial. So how to clone it? Uh, you can just go to the folder. Let's go dot. So I'm in the Git projects. Okay. So let me clear out this screen. And uh, not to clone, you can use git clone and uh, just run this uh, link. Okay, so you can see cloning into the project. So now you can see there is a folder got created over here. So this is a, a new uh, git repository, so which is clone, and you can see uh, the files which I will, I am having it in the git and also the dot git folder. Now here, if you see the similar kind of uh, folders, but if you see there are more like index, package, ref, uh, description, you know, there are uh, logs, infos, right? Uh, so let's go to the object folder now. Uh, I think here also we don't have much information. So yeah, there are something in the pack, but I think once you make some commit, it should be there on the object, okay? And if you go to the ref, you can see heads, remote, tags, right? You have a I don't have any tags over here so let's see what we have it in the remote so you can see the remote origin which is will be the master branch and the heads you can it will be the main branch and uh, let's see about hooks hooks you can see there are different kind of scripts so these are some uh, basic script which came along with the git okay so it's not something which I had or anything these are ba uh, no default available script Let's talk about uh, this config. Let me open the config using a notepad. So you can see the config. You can see uh, some of the configuration, right? Right. So you can see the remote origin. So it's uh, actually mapping to the URL. So this is my GitHub uh, link, right? And uh, this is uh, mapping to the uh, main branch, which is the uh, you know uh, the master branch. So uh, you know it depends upon uh, which uh, you know branch you have cloned that will be. Uh, mapping it to it. Let's see what is there in the description. So you can see this is an unnamed uh, folder because I don't have any description given for this in the uh, GitHub repo. So if you have given a description, it will come up here as well. Now let's see what do we have it here. In the head, you can see you know this is referring to the main branch. So the, as I said, uh, the head uh, file will always refer to the current working directory. So if you are uh, working on the main branch it will go to the main branch if you are working on a feature branch or something it will go there let's see what do we have it in the index so index you can see there are a lot of things but you don't you are not able to read it properly so uh, what we need to do is let me see whether we can open it uh, you know in a sublime text you see it's uh, completely like a hash code so we cannot read it basically uh, directly from it but I know it uh, git able to read it. So index, as I said, it's used mainly for uh, files which are currently in uh, the you know, uh, staging area, which need to be added into the commit. Okay. So there are a few things which is showing up here. So uh, since it's not a readable format, it's uh, you know, not easy for us to do it. Uh, probably if you want, I can show it here. So if you see, we don't have anything uh, as a you know, index over here because this first project we don't have any file so let me create a new file uh, maybe a test.txt okay so i have a file over here now let me go back to this uh, folder and let me go to uh, first project so i'm inside the first project now and uh, you can see this folder now let me clear out and i'll go inside this dot git we don't have an index folder yet here right so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use git add and I'm going to add the folder into this. Now you can see the index file is created. So if I go and read this index file, you can see this test.txt is you know added over here because this file is currently in the staging area and we have to move that to uh, commit. So that's why the index file is all about. So it's uh, used to create uh, you know the um, uh, stay, uh, files of the content which is used for staging area okay so I hope uh, this is uh, informative right because you need to understand what do we have it in the object ref config description head index uh, hooks and uh, know the other folders some are, are really useful for this uh, git understanding so once you understand what it is you able to understand you know what changes is happening in which files 
uh, usually you know you don't delete anything or you don't make any changes here but you can refer these things to understand much more about this and usually as i said the dot git folder will be a hidden folder so it's not uh, something which you would like to delete or some uh, something like that but this is the place where the whole information about your git project is stored so one thing you should understand is if the folder does not have dot git uh, file a folder inside that means it's not a uh, git repository only if you have a dot git folder it's act as a git repository if you delete it then it will make a lot of other uh, conflicts so that's for your information and uh, uh, i'm hoping this tutorial will be really useful for you and uh, it's an informative tutorial where you can understand it so for more videos like this i would ask you to click on uh, the subscribe button and also the li uh, like uh, my video share and comment